Amwambia, it is a safe space. Just come out. We are seeing the signs. Just come out and just tell guys, listen, I'm fluid. This is the way I'm rolling. Nobody's going to judge you. Not him. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So another thing which we at the forefront to go against Eric is uh, Villanova. But then Eric, from his argument, and Asema, is doing so just to sell his brand. And then Pia, uh, and Pia an examples, Kuna was a Pia in different countries, one of like him, no, just to sell their brand, maybe Pia too. And Asema Pia, one of the things Anafanya na Dresivo is trying to reach uh, both genders, females and male. But then Bona Una feel like it's not right. So Eric was already reaching both genders, male and female, over the years. He was the most admired comedian at some point because there was no one else in that space. There were younger guys. So for you to reach the other guys is about what you're saying. It's not about how you dress. Sometimes as a comedian, you have to dress a certain way to pass a certain joke. But if you get too comfortable with it now and in Africa, the, we know the African setup, there's a couple of things we still cringe on. We're like, oh, the cross-dressing thing is a little bit. If you really want to cross-dress, then come out and tell us, listen, guys, this is me and this is the way I'm rolling. And we're going to know and identify you like that. But now, Eric, to you to wapi. That is the problem. I don't really have a problem. Whatever he chooses to dress is his life forever. I'm just telling him, just come out and be confident on it. Embrace it. Embody it. Leave it. Stop living in denial. That's the only problem that I have with Eric. So yes. according to you, what's the furthest a person can go as per dressing code to maybe the, the what's the furthest a person can go? No, it's what you believe in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's the furthest you can go. If you believe in da 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 da, you identify as such, mm -hmm. rock it. Um, when you talked of political guys who are helping the youth, what do you have to say about um, Jalambia? It is a safe space. Just come out. We are seeing the signs. Just come out and just tell guys, listen, I'm fluid. This is the way I'm rolling. Nobody's going to judge you. Right now, the generation is different. Guys are a little bit woke and open-minded. And it's a free world. And every human being has their own right. So feel free. Do whatever you want to do. That's when he got peace and then threw the remote at me. Because I asked him, feel free. Come out. It's a safe space. So that is where things got out of hand. Yeah. So do you manage to do an interview with him? Mama to even yes, table? they were talking with Kwambox about a lot of things that did not make sense. Of course, Eric saying, you know, stroking his own balls, telling himself the way he's the president of comedy, he's towards G50 countries. Of course, you can tour those countries because you started in 2006. <laughs> even if you started in 2006 and now it's 2023 and you've not traveled two, three countries, what did you do? And I eat a Mushagoza, Uganda, Sji Gulu, Sji Wapi, Jinja, and I say some places that I'm like, brother. When I talk to small events, I met a wedding, I met a wedding, I met a wedding, and I met a wedding, and I met a wedding, and I met a world tour. It's not a world tour, it's not done a world tour. We've not seen it, it doesn't have a Netflix special, not even a KBC special, leave alone Netflix special. And I met a KICC, we go, you repeat the same, same jokes you've been repeating 